What is up, you guys? It's your boy SOTB Manny here, and today I'm gonna bring you bring you guys another video of Xenoverse, of course. And uh, today I don't got my main character, but you know I got this character, Serata. You know she's pretty good. She got some pretty good attribute points. You know what I'm saying? Pretty good. So let's get going. And, uh, I'm going to wasteland. A Navy soldier. Bake and skates. I mean, he's not. I mean, he don't got new clothes on, but you know, I still kind of suggest him as a new. I mean. Wait a minute. Oh man, you people got still a lot to learn. I'll need to, uh. Still kind of with the Super Dragon Fist, something light. Wow, that was really fast. I guess I'll do another ranked match. So, um, yeah, as you guys can tell, she is a melee build. So I'm gonna show you guys like some of the attribute points, like the clothes I have on, and you know, like what I recommend and what I don't. So, all right. So how are you guys? How you guys? How are you guys? Been doing good. We're getting them A's and B's on them report cards. That's that's good. That's cool. Even if you get C's, you still you still passing. Even if you get D's, you're still passing. But you know, your parents want you to like you know bring that up to a B. You know, you know but anyways, um, so let's see here. All right, so we got the equipment, which is battle suit Bardock for upper body. And why I chose this because it gives you five bars of stamina. Five bars of basic attack, five bars of strike supers. Same thing with the lower body for every um, Bardock suit. And for Brawly, it's basically the same thing with uh, Bardock, just different colors and style. So it's five bars and everything except for supers, key, and health. So it gives you supers. It gives you five. It gives you less than five. You know, ah, whatever. If you got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan one. I just do it on because, you know, I just want to do it on, so. And, uh, this is what is, what, I don't know, what she looks like without the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan wig. Regular Super Saiyan God, and, uh, yeah. And the reason why I have this one on is because it's very, uh, it's very helpful because it starts all, um, when you start the battle, your enemy's stamina, as you can see there, is reduced. Like, it's basically, like, really low. So they can't really, like, escape you. They can't really run away for a long time. So, yeah. You gotta start with a strong stuff. You know, strong fight. So I got Super Attack. I got Super Dragon Fist. Shining Slash. Phantom Fist. And I'll show you why it's a good thing in, in one of the battles. Evil Rise Strike. Super Saiyan 2. I don't really like to spam a lot of these moves, but if I have to, I will. But I really don't want to. I got Spirit Sword and Angry Shout. Mostly, if you mainly focus around melee and strike build, you want to focus in the strike supers area. Because then, you know, it will most likely deal more damage since you're in that area already. So let's see if we can get he if we can get another match.
Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to find people who want to play rank match. But we gotta see, guys. We gotta see. Uh, I'll try my best, but oh well. I'm, I can guarantee you that I'm not gonna win. If I do, most likely he's gonna rage quit. So either or, it's still pretty bad because you don't get the points. But you know, you still you still won. So let me show you. Supreme Kai's world. Ryukuku. Ryukuku. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh I forgot to mention, the Phantom Fist like helps you evade people's, you know, moves, as you guys can see. And I'll go use the Spirit Sword. Oh, that special beam was a clean hit. Alright, that was my loss. Like I said, it was gonna go either way, but um, basically, it, oh dang, 100 points, but he's already a C. Oh well. But Phantom Fist helps you evade like moves, either melee or key blast, anything, it will evade those. So that's why I would like, that's, it's pretty good. It's pretty better than after mid strike because you know, you'll do it and you'll get away from it, but there's most likely a chance where they can pretty much catch you. Unlike with the Phantom Fist, once they get you and like spam like all the stuff, you can keep pressing R2 and square, you know, like, it's, it's crazy, but, uh, yeah, that's why, that's why it's pretty good, as you can see in the beginning of the battle, the reason why he couldn't really move as much, because he know I got the Whis, you're stepping on poo, don't laugh, <laughs> it's the, it's the Zizo, it's, um, Zizo, so he couldn't really move that much, which is why it's pretty good in some occasions, but it's not as, you know, effective in a way. So as, ooh, did I? No, I'm going to show you guys like how how much characters I really pretty much went through, just to show you guys, you know, all the stuff. All the go go. Connected to Xenoverse 7. Da da da. You gotta love those da da da's. Anyways, um, you got Asuka, my main character, which is pretty, she's pretty strong. You got D God Ryuko, also a melee builder. And he's a key build. Still haven't finished that one. Still got a lot of attribute points left. And, uh, yeah, got the whole beers thing going on. Super Saiyan guys, Super Saiyan Rixor. He's kind of balanced in a way Serata as is you know as the character I was playing with you got Yuki a key human build and uh, Frieza race build and uh, yeah that's pretty much it like I said I only got like one free character but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you uh took some notes on like you know I hope you guys really observe on like what to do in a battle so you guys won't become like me and um you know hope you guys share videos leave a like if you leave a like if you had fun and enjoyed the video comment to see what game you want to see next and you know I'll see you guys next time see you beautiful people next time enjoy your day too peace